Okay, guys, so I'm back with a huge, huge, huge Sephora haul here. So, I'm going to start with NARS. And I'm going to try to get everything in in 10 minutes. Hopefully, I'll be able to. So, the first thing I got was the Orgasm and Laguna uh, Blush Duo. I love NARS packaging. Next, I got the Eyeshadow Duo Kudra. Very pretty color. The next thing was the NARS Eyeshadow Duo in Kalahari. Next, I got the Smashbox Ar Artificial Light um, Luminizing Lotion. But I am going to exchange this. I, I'm going to get the Lil Rock one because I just was not impressed with this and the consistency of it. So that's going to go back. Um, then I got Smashbox Anti Chime. And it comes like this in this little case. And I'm very excited to use this. Um, I thought it was more like a powder, but it's actually more like a cream. And they're anti shine cream. So then next I got um for Clinique items, I got Clinique Acne Solutions. Cleansing foam. I meant to get the lotion as well. I have been using this, and I'm gonna do. It's about time for an update video on the acne solutions system, so I'll do an update on that for you guys. Um, also, I got the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel with Pump. So this is for combination oily to oily skin. So, this one is good for skin types, three and four. Um, if you guys don't know what that means, um, Kumi categorizes um, in different skin categories, and it's one, two, three, and four. This is Smashbox. Um, it's the Lip and Lip Primer from Smashbox. It looks like this. And this side is the Lip Primer. And then other side is the eyeshadow primer. This primer seems very hard, the eyeshadow side anyway, so I don't know about this one yet. It seems very, very hard. Um that's like it'd be easy to work with. Next I got the Smashbox photo finish primer. I think that as well, this is going to go back. I think I'm going to exchange this for the Makeup Forever primer. So, um, that and artificial light are probably going to go back. Um, I got a Sephora heated eyelash curler. So, I've never used one of these, and I'll let you guys know if it's, you know, better than a regular eyelash curler or what. Next, um, we have the Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes Collection. It's five of the crayons, the eye crayons. And there's five of them. We have copper over here, copper, copper purple, um, matte black, turquoise, and iridescent navy blue. Actually, those are in the right order. The dark, the light one is the turquoise. So, yeah, I love these pencils. They're absolutely awesome. I've actually tried these before. So, yeah. The next thing is um, Laura Mercier, one of my favorite brands. I got um, the Laura Mercier contour brush. This brush is so incredible. And 
I've never seen a brush shaped quite like this. This is really good for creating an eyelid for people who don't really have um, pronounced eyelids or you know have a crease. This is really good for creating the crease. So this is an angled eye brush and it's absolutely amazing. So and by Laura Mercier. Um, next I got the Laura Mercier. I got two of the eyeshadow palettes. This one is the Sahara Sun. So, so pretty. And the next one I got is um, the Mediterranean Sea, which is pretty blues and blondes. It's so gorgeous. Um, for a lot, I know a lot of African Americans are afraid of wearing um, blues, but this this is a really good a really good palette. I mean, it's impossible to go wrong with this. These are so wonderful. They're pigmented, but they're not. They don't apply really like heavy, and they're just the texture is just heavenly with those. Alrighty, next I got the Dior bronze, the sun powder spray. This stuff is amazing. I love this stuff. And a little note really quick for bronzers that come in the can, like the makeup bronzers, and even a, a good cheaper version of this would be the um, Sonia Tashik one. And you don't spray these on your face. You spray them on your hand or your palette and then you'll try them with a brush. So they're not designed to be sprayed directly on the skin. Okay, I got a Sephora Clear Lip Gloss. I got two Dior mascaras. I got the um, Iconic Mascara, which I'll show you really quick. That's the brush, if you can see that. I love the brush on this. And I also got the Dior. The Dior Show Blackout, which is the waterproof one. I use Dior Show like almost every day. I don't use the waterproof because I'm not going to use waterproof on your lashes every day. I also got um, Makeup Forever Kabuki Brush. And let me say, this is the softest Kabuki brush I have ever felt. And oh my goodness, it is a. Is it, I think it's a dual fiber brush. But it's absolutely, oh my goodness, it's absolutely amazing. And I can't wait to use this with the HD powders from them. I also got a travel kit of the Go Smile. And this is a whitening toothpaste. And I hear wonders about it. So I'm going to try it. And if I like it, then I'll get the full size. Also, the Sephora. Hardship Brow Kit, and it comes with Sephora tweezers, brow gel, a brush, stencils, and a brow powder and a brown, a brown um, gel. There's already something about brow wax. There's already something about this I don't like, but I'll talk more about that in a separate video. But it comes in a cute little case. It's supposed to be comparable to the Anastasia kit. And as samples, they gave me a Sonique sample. I don't know where it is. It was of uh, the the on call allergen something. I got a Versace Bright Crystal sample. I got a Flora by Gucci sample. And it's just um little flower like that. It smells okay. I can't really say that. I, I don't know. It smells okay. I can't really say what's going on by it. But. Also, I got some Murat Firm and Tone Serum. And let me tell you, this smells horrendous. Oh my goodness, it stinks so bad. Um, So, that's what I wanted to show you guys. So, thank you guys for watching and bye.